Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. We are looking today our latest edition of our XI M Tower. The XI M Tower LE stands for Le uh, Light Edition. And uh, this um, uh, unit is a small footprint based on the uh, 4790 uh, latest 4th generation Intel CPU and uh, the uh, Quadro K420 and uh, uh, 620. We're also going to compare that performance of those new video cards with the performance of the earlier K600. Okay, here we are looking at our M Tower LE configuration. Um, as you guys can see, it's a small footprint, but packs quite a, quite a bit of performance and power in there. And uh, let's see in detail. So um, the CPU of choice is uh, Core i7-4790 is the latest uh, iteration of the 4th generation, the 47 series. Uh, 3.6 GHz base, clock speed goes up to 4 GHz on one, uh, one core to improve a boost. It's a 4 core CPU and also has uh, um, a hyper thread, so you will have 8 threads. So it's quite decent even for doing some rendering and it, it gives you a good uh, uh, promptness uh, of uh, 4 gigahertz uh, on uh, on those uh, single thread uh, applications. 16 gig of RAM, uh, this is um, the maximum that this unit uh, can go for and the speed is 1600 megahertz. Um, here we go, we have the NVIDIA Quadro K620 is the new generation um, of uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA Quadro um, the 620 is 2 uh, gigabyte uh, versus the older K600 that was 1 gigabyte. And uh, we're also going to show a uh, performance comparison with the 420 that is basically the old 600, uh, K600 and has 1 uh, uh, gigabyte. They're good cards for, um, you know, light 3D and, um, and 2D uh, drafting um, and a professional level. We're showing here this monitor is the, the new Azus TB287Q. One millisecond response time it is a 4K monitor, 3849 by 2160 uh, native resolution. This is really twice as much as the standard 1920 by 1080. It's a great monitor. And um, the unit can be equipped with um, standard hard drives and the solid state, for the example, is the 500. If we keep it at 250, uh, Samsung, um, they, and with the 420, the unit is around $1,200 without a monitor. So very aggressive price, very competitive, and still performing so, uh, very strong. You know? um, DVD read-write is hidden by this little door here. And can be a Blu-ray uh, as well. And then we got um, sound uh, is 8.1 digital and everything. The keyboard that plenty of different options for keyboard and mouse. Uh, 8.1 right now, Windows 8.1, Windows 7 Pro, Windows 8.1 Pro are pretty much head to head uh, as a preference from clients. Many still uh, like this, uh, Windows 7 Pro. Um, motherboard from MSI, very reliable. And um, as, as well, the, the sound on board and anything else uh, needed for this little case. Um, there is a power supply that's 300 watt and that's plenty for what you can put in the case. Uh, and the, so the case as, as, uh, as stated is uh, less than 4 inch wide by 11 inches high and 15 long and uh, there is um, on the front here uh, there is a 2.0, 3.0 USB um, input and output sound and the car reader built in uh, is a 4-in-1. Four, four uh, that's quite handy. And this concludes this uh, overview. We're going to talk in a second about performance of this unit. Okay, we're looking at the performance um, uh, comparison for this uh, unit here. Uh, we start with the Spec Per 12 from uh, Standard Performance Evaluation Corporation. We did uh, um, three uh, different tests. One with the old Quadro K600, uh, one with the Quadro K420, and one with the Quadro K620. 420 and 620 being the new uh, generation, and K600 the previous generation. Um, as we can see, uh, the K600 and the K420 
are basically the same card, you know, one gig of, of uh, video RAM and same GPU performance more or less. Uh, um, and the K620 really uh, stands up as a very good improvement at no extra cost um, from the old K600. We're we are going from 1029 on Katia to 30.30, .30, so to, you know, around 200% in, increase in performance. 17.51 on Siemens NX versus 46. And SolidWorks 26.26 to 57.90. You can see that better here in those, um, in those bar charts, how the K620 really towers is over the you know the previous generation one and also justify the fifty dollar premium from the k420 uh, that still is entry level decent video card for professional use um we've, we've done also a cinebench uh, um, release 15 and here we can see that the frame per second jump for the k620 at a very interesting level of 78.5 frame per second that actually even outperform, um, you know, a K4000 or a Quadro 4000, all the generation CPUs. Um, and also we see here, well, on the on the CPU uh, level, of course, we use the same CPU for all three, so pretty much same number. Um, here it is also on, on the visual bar chart, and we can see that this is towering, is double. On the case this one. Catalyst benchmark is an AutoCAD benchmark, uh, very popular and very thorough. And we can see the um, K620 is a little better, even though this Catalyst is kind of an equalizer on this uh, on this test. So it's not a whole lot of an advantage. So if you want to do a 2D drafting entry level. Then the best deal at this point is with the Quadro K420 on, uh, on AutoCAD. This concludes uh, our test for this uh, XIM Tower LE, and uh, you guys can see more details at our, on our website at www.xicomputer.com. Thank you.